Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back. It's Charlie. It is July 5th, 2019. About 8.27 in the morning, day after uh, 4th of July. I trust and I hope that you all had a really, really good um, 4th of July celebration yesterday and last night. Um, yesterday I know it was pretty, pretty interesting over here, especially for Southern California in the morning. Uh, I was quite interesting actually I got up in the morning went to go get my coffee and uh, <clears throat> had some stuff for the guys so I went to go visit the guys and check and see how they were doing I brought them some clothes and socks and stuff that you know they could use and you know sitting there for about an hour hour and a half just killing time and chatting and stuff and uh, my one friend is like up a ways and I'm talking to my other buddy and <clears throat> he stops talking he has this look on his face and everything got quiet for like a split second I swear everything just it was like something out of a Hitchcock movie <clears throat> and I started kind of feeling the swaying and I'm thinking oh shoot I'm gonna have a seizure I thought I was gonna have a seizure because the sensation is almost the same when just before I black out and I start to seize up yeah, and I'm looking and my buddy yells over at my other friend hey you feel that and my friends like what the hell's going on and my buddy looks up and he says earthquake and I'm like oh hell and it kept going it must have I don't know what the official report was but it must have lasted a good I don't know between 12 and 15 16 seconds it was it was lengthy actually <clears throat> I did make one video but uh, my headphones were broken so I had my 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 phone plug or my headphones plugged in and I was trying to record a video but you couldn't get any audio because the side of the headphone that was on is the microphone head uh, size so I about a minute of video that was like no audio so I had to do that other little one right there and then but uh, Fourth of July uh, earthquake. It was uh, centered in Ridgecrest, out in the Mojave area. At first, it was in the Mojave area, and then it was localized in Ridgecrest, I believe. Six point four. Uh, that's not too far away from here. It's Thirty, forty miles away from here, thereabouts. So we really felt it. It was a, for us. It was a more of a wave. Some places it was more jolting, uh, caused some damage, some fires and stuff like that. Things to be knocked off the shelf, kind of usual. But for us, it was just more of a rolling motion, kind of like when you, uh, for those of you that remember, when you sitting on a waterbed and all of a sudden someone plops down, it's bloop, bloop, bloop. But it was interesting, you know, it was cool. <clears throat> Haven't had an earthquake that strong or like that in 20 years, I believe. So, and then this morning around 5.40, I didn't feel that I was still asleep. We had another one of a 5.4 earthquake. So, <clears throat> quite interesting. Good, good way to start the, uh, the holiday. Uh, it was cool. Yesterday was, was pretty neat. Um, went to different places, checked out the scenery. I was going, and I was planning on... Going to the Colorado Bridge, so I'm home. And I came home and I relaxed, and then I made my my way out, grabbed a cup of coffee, started walking to the bridge, and then I noticed all the foot traffic traffic starting to walk opposite of the direction that I was going. I'm like, well, I know there's going to be people. People usually walk down the Rose Bowl, and I'm thinking, well, that's more unusual traffic than the normal foot traffic that is. As I'm getting up to Orange Grove in Colorado, I could see cars still going down the one street. And, and instead of detouring to the right, to the freeway, which is what they normally do, they close off the Colorado span, and then they detour the traffic uh, to the 134 headed west. And the cars weren't doing that. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So, yeah, they canceled uh, viewing from the Colorado Bridge. And right there is about when I sat down my phone and uh, tried to decide for a minute what I was going to do, whether I was going to 
go back to Colorado or, or to the Rose Bowl or what. And then I picked up my co coffee without thinking about my phone, and I sat my phone down there. By the time I got down there and I realized what had happened, I was really bummed. So the, watching the fireworks, really couldn't stop thinking about it. I had already accepted the fact that I was going, that I lost the phone. So in my mind, I'm trying to think, okay, well, now what am I going to do? Um, I know there's, we have a whole bunch of electronic clearance at work. There's this one phone that's really clearanced out that with my discount, and I'm already trying to calculate of replacing the phone, as painful as it was. So after the show and after I ended the video, I just said, well, what the hell? I doubled back and I walked up four blocks to where I was, and lo and behold, there was a phone. It was right there. It's like no one touched it. I was hoping that because all the traffic was coming the opposite of the direction that I was traveling in where I sat the phone down on a ledge with some uh, trees and bushes kind of covering it. So I got I got very lucky. Very lucky. I love this phone. This, this LG phone, the stylus. is uh, It's my phone. It may overheat in the summertime and it stops recording, but all in all, it's... It, it's It hurts when you lose something, but I was already accepting it and trying to deal with it, but I got lucky and <clears throat> got the phone. So, and then yesterday it was really crowded down there, so I was actually barely lucky enough to get a, a good spot <clears throat> on the wall while up front, uh, all the people that paid uh, admission to go to the Rose Bowl, there was like a little carnival area, a little festivity celebration area. That was part of the admission. Everybody inside this paddock area, uh, barbecuing and having a good time. It, 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 it's a lot of fun. I'd, I'd like to actually one day be able to go down there and just, you know, maybe queue up some food or, you know, chill out, chill some some sodas back and just watch everything and then go into the Rose Bowl and, and enjoy the show. But uh, it was... It was a lot of fun. It was actually it was a lot lengthier than the previous year. It must have lasted about a good 24, 25, 24, 25 minutes. It's usually about maybe 18 to 20 minutes long, but overall it was it was really nice. It was a good show. They did a good presentation, so and it wasn't windy, so you know everything was was stayed in place that that launched. I did have a bit of a tree in my view, but honestly, I really couldn't get a, any better position without losing my spot, my seat on the wall of sitting out, because it was it was pretty crowded. And if you can look, I kind of like panned to the right and panned to the left, and you can see all the people that were just like coming in. But uh, it was a good turnout, it was a good show, and by the time I got home, walked back with the whole crowds, I was tired. I'm tired today, really. I'm... <clears throat> I've already had my cup of coffee and I'm about to go inside and have another large cup of coffee. I'm just exhausted. Uh, go to work today, get off, uh, probably go home and rest. Uh, so because I had yesterday off, I work, I have to close Saturday uh, for a trade off, which isn't too bad. 4.30 to, no, 4 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. tomorrow night. And Saturday, not Saturday, excuse me, Sunday, I, Sunday I do have something planned. Uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say, but uh, I'm really trying to get to do some. Uh, going to do this on Sunday, so, fingers crossed. Uh, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do Saturday, since Saturday I'm kind of limited I gotta go to work, so I'm gonna have to do a video early and uploaded. Because if I do, I can't do a video just coming up here. By the time I upload the video, kind of like last night, I won't be going to bed until definitely after midnight, and even later. So tomorrow, 11:30, I'll be home maybe about 12:30. So, but I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. I still want to check out the. Desdario Park. 
maybe do the bridge across the span and there's a staircase that goes down to that residency area in that park. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to do something. So, yeah, yesterday was pretty cool, and I got I was watching kind of uh, some of the uh, the Washington festivities. Look, regardless of what it costs, it's America's birthday. It, it doesn't matter what it costs. It's just a celebration. Every pre president tries to do something bigger and better what it is. Whether he turned it into part of a campaign kickoff, an election can who cares? Come on. Why? It's, it, it's a holiday. Do we have to all nitpick? Just grab your beer, grab your soda, start barbecuing or not, just do whatever. Just don't worry. It's our right as a country to celebrate and to spend whatever it costs to honor our nation's birth and to celebrate the fact that we're lucky enough to be who we are, what we are, whatever we are at this point in time in life, in society, and in economics and politics. We are who we are. And we can change that, but it takes time to change, so um, negate the cost of everything. Yesterday was a time to celebrate everything that this country, everything that our men, women, children, everybody has fought for this country for today, this very point in time. So, the hell with whatever it costs. It's a celebration. We don't nitpick when we're celebrating our birthday or the birthday of our child or whatever, so same thing goes for that too. Even more so, actually. Because this nation's helping and provide what little, but not forget that. All right, my friends, I'm going to. God, I'm really tired. I'm exhausted. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to let you go. So, you folks have a good day. It's Friday. And I hope you continue to have a good day. For those of you that have an extended Fourth of July weekend, Definitely have some fun. It, that, that's nice. So you folks take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But always take care of yourselves first. Love one another. Trust one another. Be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on, what I'm doing, what we're doing, and how far I've progressed. Comments, 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 comments. Leave comments. Comments are important, good or bad. I try to get to your comments as much as I can. All right, my friends. Wow, I'm exhausted. I am really pooped. All right, y'all. Oh, excuse me. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> yeah, I need coffee. Wow. <clears throat> All right. You have a beautiful Friday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.